I don't see anything running, Bobby. You're on. And welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Country Mile Update. I'm Brent Bates. Uh, Drew's out uh, running. Uh, got a business meeting. Uh, in Texas, it's been raining. Glory, hallelujah. Uh, you've probably seen on the news people in Dallas up north are having some problems with the flash flooding. We haven't really had that problem down here outside of San Antonio and Austin, but it's nice to have some rain. We're being brought to you by Drive America. They're the good guys in the automotive warranty business. Very innovative folks. Been around for a long time. Got a real strong uh, customer base. No, they're not dialing you on the phone acting like they've got your warranty and it's about to expire and you need to buy one from them. Uh, that's not how they do business. They also uh, have Omega, which is their arm that does home warranty stuff. So in these uncertain times, you really need to check that out. Uh, it's a whole lot better to make a uh, small monthly payment and let them uh, bear the risk than for you to bear the risk, especially with what some of the stuff costs these days. Well, Bobby, let's go ahead and go to the tail of the tape. And as you can see, Bitcoin is up 108, uh, and that's the chart of it. And what I want to kind of point out to you is, is you can notice here, we had a big down move, and you see how the MAC dab, red, 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 and then finally it turned white, okay? And when it turned white, it was kind of over, all right? But that move lasted for a, couple, uh, for a week and a half or so, it was pretty severe. Well, guess what? We've basically had one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row of down on Bitcoin. And yesterday we went from a red to a white. And now today we're a, a, we're a white with a tail uh, on that. And so I'm hoping that we're going to kind of hold right here. And I told you that I thought that it was a, a possibility for us to have a, a down draft. Uh, but it would not surprise me at all for us to kind of build a base through here and go up. What's interesting is, is all of crypto is doing fine. Traditional markets are not. So we're back above the trillion dollars in total uh, market capitalization. Uh, you know, yesterday we had a big move down. Look at the Dow's chart. There you can see we've had three hard days right there going from the upper Bollinger Band down past the mid-range. Uh, do the same thing with the S&P. Uh, same looking chart. Uh, right there. And in fact, even the Russell 2000, it started off uh, two days before those did. And you can see that this is crossing over here, which is a negative sign. And this is broken through here and gaining momentum. So it doesn't look good for the traditional markets in the near term future. Gold is up 1154, 1161, bouncing off that lower Bollinger Band. If it can hold this lower uh, or this higher low, so you got a lower low here. Uh, if it can break there and go up higher, I think we'll see uh, that we've kind of reversed on the metals. Silver is up nine cents. Uh, the uh, futures doing what you would expect them to do. Won't talk about them. Ethereum's up 1950. And there again, look at its chart, kind of doing the same kind of thing as Bitcoin. Notice this is an, a, an old trend line that I had drawn back a long time ago, getting a turnover there on the MACDAB as well. Uh, expect that to start doing well. Link is up uh, 17 cents off just a smidge, 0.22% on Cardano, 17 cents on Polkadot, 38 cents down on Litecoin, which is kind of bucking a little bit of the trend. But you know what? That's a that's a huge dagger right there, and I'll take that, uh, even though it might show to the to the negative. Um, what that means, folks, is is that you had a lot of price exploration down there to that moving Bollinger Band, the bottom Bollinger Band, and it couldn't hold it, which usually tells you that it's going to start to move higher from there. Uh, XRP is up just a smidge, 0.32%, up 0.42% XLM, 2.7% for Theta. Hex uh, is up just a smidge. And in the dog wars, uh, Doge is uh, down 027 and SHIB is flat as a pancake. All right. Uh, and I, I looked at Cardamoly a little bit before we get started. I can't seem to get it on this thing uh, trading over at ProBit, uh, but they're at uh, they're at 0 .002 um, and and holding tight there. You know, come on back to me. Oh, you are all right. So here's here's the thing that I think everybody needs to realize is you notice what's starting to happen. We're having cryptocurrencies going in one direction, 
and the traditional markets going in another. And for a while, they were kind of going very symbiotically together, up and down together. And frankly, it's my belief that with what I think is coming, uh, you're going to start to see the two of those going in different directions. And the reason being is, is that inflation is printing too much of this and too much of this devalues what the dollar's worth. It's not so much that your real estate is worth that much more money. It's that your dollar is worth that much less. And that's an interesting concept that you got to kind of get your head around to kind of understand where we're at and also to understand how critical and how harmful it is for the Biden administration to just keep printing money and especially handing it out for absolutely nothing. Right now, they're, they're printing it and handing it out in an attempt to buy votes. And I think the most recent votes they're trying to buy or anybody that's got college debt uh, with what they're looking at right now. But the reality is this, most things are too high priced, not because of scarcity and desire for that commodity, but because the dollars that it's being bought with are worth less and less and less because we've printed too many of them. Well, that's just a little quick primer for inflation. We'll talk more uh, as we go by as to what that's going to do to you and what you need to be doing to try and try and protect yourself from it besides owning some crypto. We'll be back tomorrow on the Wild West Crypto Show Country Mile Update. I'm Brent Bates. Y'all have a great day.